Church, I'm here to tell you that whatever you are faced with this morning or this evening, God loves you and He's at the point of your need. Jesus is the answer. Now, it might sound very simplistic. It might sound like, well, Pastor Prince, you know, you know, I hear people saying Jesus is the answer, but do you understand? I need more financial help. Pastor, I need breakthrough for my depression. I've been having this condition for two years now. Pastor, I need help in my family relations. I need help in my teenage boy, my teenage daughter. Why, why do you say Jesus is the answer? What do you mean by Jesus is the answer? I understand Jesus is the answer for those who are looking for salvation, for forgiveness of their sins, for, uh, for a new life. I understand that. But Pastor, when you say that Jesus is the answer, when my body is reeking with pain and, and, and I have an addiction that no one knows about, what do you mean Jesus is the answer? When the children of Israel, they were in need. Every time they were in need, Jesus revealed himself in a fresh way. Whether... All right, they were in need for fresh waters at the bitter waters of Mara. The water was like sulfuric. They cannot drink the water. God showed to Moses the tree. What is that? Jesus on the tree. What happened to the waters when Moses threw the tree in? It became sweet. A few days later, they were murmuring and hungry for bread. God gave them manna, bread from heaven. Who is that? Jesus says, Moses didn't give you the true bread. I am the bread that came from heaven. It's Jesus. All their needs are met in some revelation of Jesus Christ. The people thought they need, they need bread. They needed Jesus. Which, you see, the, the greater always include the lesser. Greater always include the lesser. When you have the greater bread of life, it includes even the temporary bread of life. But if you go for the temporary bread of life, you cannot get the greater. They were thirsty again after a few more days. And they yelled at Moses. This time God didn't show Moses the tree. God says, Moses, hit the rock. And what is the rock? In 1 Corinthians, it says, the rock is Christ. He was smitten at the cross to give us refreshing waters of the Spirit. It's always a fresh revelation. Later on, the congregation became sick. In the wilderness, they were beaten by snakes. Here I am telling you, church, look away from your troubles, look away from your symptoms, look away from your needs, and look to Jesus Christ. Every time you come to church, there should be a, I want to see Jesus. Every time you worship, I want to see Jesus more and more. Amen. Are you listening? If you're in crisis, you're in trouble, make sure. Crisis. Christ is in the crisis. All right, look for him. Whatever trouble you're going through, physical, financial, all right, listen to messages that are full of Jesus. Start listening, 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 and listening again. And I'm telling you, church, when there's a fresh revelation, there's a fresh grace being brought to you. Amen. And many a times, I'm busy with so many things. I can't even resolve one thing completely. And the Lord was telling me, one thing is needful. I find it so hard to believe, but except that Jesus said it. One thing. He didn't even say a few things. One thing. I have to let go of all these things that is unresolved, spend time with Jesus, and I can't begin to tell you how many times. I just, and the best way is to spend time in his word. He says, Jesus, unveil yourself. And when I see Jesus and I go back to those problems, either the problems, all right, are removed, or there's a wisdom, there is an understanding to handle those problems. Whatever it is, it's no more the same. Are you listening? When the children of Israel were beaten by snakes, it's a picture of disease and sickness. The devil brings sickness and disease in the form of a serpent. Moses cried out to God, and God says, lift up the bronze snake on a pole. That pole was like a shape of a cross, and the snake was a bronze snake. And Jesus said to Nicodemus many years after that, Nicol, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so the Son of Man must be lifted up. That bronze serpent is a picture of Jesus Christ. And, and even though they were beaten, it's a serious problem. Like you're saying, you know, Pastor Prince, stop talking about, you know, see more of Jesus. I got a serious problem. The doctors have diagnosed this with a serious problem. I'm telling you, the people were dying. 
being beaten by snakes, poisonous snakes. The Hebrew word is seraph, which is a fiery snakes. And they were dying. And yet Moses lit up the, the cross, Jesus on it. And he says, look! And the Bible says, whoso looketh liveth. And there are, there are those who are in pain and they can see the, the two, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, where the, the, the puncture marks are and they're screaming, blood is coming out. And, and, and Moses says, look, look, look to the snake. And he says, what, look? Painful, you know. <laughs> is there time for looking? I'm looking at my wound. Can you see my wound, Mo? <laughs> Pass is coming out already. <laughs> and Moses says, look, look, look. And there are those who say, no matter what, all right, God has spoken to Moses many times. And I, all I, God, God says, all it takes is a look. No, there's nothing more simple than look. And all of you, look here. <laughs> you see, there's no effort involved. And that's all that God asks. All right? And there are there's some who are beaten and say, if God said it, I'll do it. I'll look away from my pain. I'll look away from my symptoms. I'll look away from my problems. I can still feel the pain, but I'm looking away. I can see the, the, that serpent down there. All of a sudden, why is that serpent bronze? It's not a real serpent. It's a bronze serpent. Why is that so? Oh, it's a picture of Jesus Christ. It's a picture. Bronze is a picture of judgment. He was judged. He took my serpent bite. He took my disease. He took my sickness. He took my pain. He was punished in my place so that I don't have to be. <laughs> oh, man, if that's so, I don't have to have this, this, this. Where is that vampire mark? <laughs> and it's not even twilight. <laughs> oh, I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed, amen. Many a times, you know, you don't even know you are healed as you are lost beholding the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is so wonderful, church.